Glad you're with us. Some double-A baseball coming at you. It's the Erie Seawolves and the Bowie Bay Sox. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. All right, just about ready for baseball. And on the hill, Ty Emerson. Well, he got into the eighth inning his last time out, really pitching deep in the games as of late. We'll see today how many innings he's got in him. All right, ready to get underway. Now here is Jonathan Davis. Jonathan. And here it comes. And first offering is fouled off. And a pitch. And that one pulled foul. The pitch. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Gosh, here it is. Hit it. Three pitch strikeout. All. Misses outside. And that's ball one. The pitch. Two balls, no strikes to count. When you get ahead in the count, there's no doubt that the success rate. That one's in there, and a count to. And a swing and a miss there. You tie a guy up like that, you're feeling like you are. The 2-2 two -two on the way. Bows it back with two strikes. Swing and a miss, and he got him. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two- or three-run homer. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. All one's the count. Next All offering one. misses down at the one one. And yeah, there's a ball. Last couple of pitches, breaking Good balls ball. away. One I think strike. he's going to have to come firm inside to be able to open up that. The why to kick the pitch. Nope. Hey. That's in there. In. Strikes out the side to begin the game. What a start. End of a half inning of play. Bottom half of inning number one coming up. No score after a half inning. And welcome back. Here's a big power threat. Dylan Dingler. This guy, one of the best defensive catchers going. You talk about framing. The ability to block, catch, and throw. Spot where he can block those balls and keep them from going to the backstop. Nope. First oh, offering misses. Steel strikes for his pitcher. Oh. Next offering is down low. That every championship team needs to have. Dingler checks his swing. Now it appealed to first. Didn't go. And he deals. There's a strike. Battling here as he fouls it away. The pitch. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Swings and misses. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Well, when you commit to throwing an inside fastball to your glove side across the strike zone, especially with two strikes, if you're going to miss, you want to miss off the plate in. You do not want to leave it out over the heart of the plate. So that was. And now here is Jake Holton. 
No, First offering, down. and it just misses. One down, base is empty. So, a foul ball makes it one and two. The pitch. Good eye right there. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Chased the fastball up the ladder for strike three. That was a pretty good. And here is Diego Rinconis. Strike one. 0 oh and 1. That's Next okay. offering is down low. One ball, one strike. And now the lefty. That's and that's outside. Ah. There's a strike. Swings and misses, it's a strikeout. Pulled the string on the changeup. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and miss, and you walk off the field. Top half of the third inning, now it's the second baseman, number 72. This is a guy you got to keep an eye for the defense because of the speed, because of the ability to put down that bond. And that one fouled off. Ball Next pitch ball. misses. Ball. Out to short. Hall. Hall jumps, throws. Leadoff hitter gone in the third. Man, Chris, a jump throw like that is certainly worthy of the stat cast treatment. Let's see what the numbers have to say about it. Yeah, these are some favorable numbers, Boog. This is the type of play that showcases his arm strength. I mean, he made it look easy, but I promise you, that's not a throw every shortstop can make. Hey. And that's in there for strike one. And the pitch. And that's in for a strike. All right, now, he may have not liked either of those first two pitches. Swings through it for the K. Blew the express right by his bat for strike three. Next to hit, Brendan Davis. In there, and it's 0-1. Davis measures six feet, four inches, hitting ninth in today's lineup. And he was a fifth-round pick. Two outs. That's in there. Oh, a two now. This guy's not wasting any pitches. Hitters got to get into swing mode. This is a good time to expand the zone. Throw something maybe down in the dirt. That's Come off on, the mark. Guy. And again, the wind of the pitch. Right side, hard hit. He takes it oh. on his own, and that'll do it. Nine straight retired here to start the game. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. As we go to the top of the fourth, now batting Jonathan Davis. Jonathan Emerson back to work. Breaking ball. Round and stay within the zone. We'll see, but I think they have to. And he's down 0-2 as oh, he swings oh, through it. The wind and the pitch. A little bit low. It's a good take. One ball, two strikes. The one-two. And a ball lead. That's inside. Full count now. Expect for that guy to come right at you. Back to work, 3-2 now. Caught him looking for the K. Well, he throws him with a great fastball right on the corner. It's kind of like bowling when you think the ball's going to get into the gutter and somehow just hangs onto that edge and knocks down a pin. Well, he got the outside. Yeah. Strike one. Now tried to bunt for a hit right there, and you can tell he's trying to get something, anything going. All in one now. There's the swing and the pitch. 
And he chases that one. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Stood absolutely no chance on that slider right there. And I don't mean to laugh, but that's a tough one. I mean, pretty much a perfect strikeout pitch. I mean, it looks like a fastball middle in. Kind of has cutter action. In. Now at the plate, Daniel Cabrera. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And that's in for a strike. The 1-1. One, one. Swing and a miss. And now the count is even. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. So 12 up, 12 down to begin the ball game. To the bottom of inning number four now. The Bay Sox have the advantage, one to nothing. Ready now for the fifth inning. Here's the catcher, Dylan Dingler. And this is a guy get familiar with his starting pitcher for that night. And he's getting... Comes up empty on the... And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes and one away. Oh, there's a three-pitch strikeout. He can do whatever he wants with the baseball right now. Now, here is Jake Holt. He's 0 for 1. He owns the home plate area. There's a strike. Kicks and fires. There's a strike. He doesn't seem to like the pitch up. Hasn't offered on either one of those pitches. 0-2 count now. I think the... 0-2 now. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Well, I think that's a case of overthinking right there. You got three straight fastballs looking in the 0-2 count just to pour it back. Here's the left fielder. That one's in there, 0-1. Hey, seven straight strikes to start the frame. He's got a chance at an immaculate the pitch. He swings and fouls one off. Looking sharp just to strike away from five shutout innings. The 0-2. Got him! And how about that? It's an immaculate inning! He's only saying, who needs the defense? An immaculate inning. Three strikeouts, nine pitches. We just witnessed something really special. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. And now number 72. The wind of the pitch. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. And the pitch. And a pop-up right side, foul territory. Puts it away for the out. Now down the third base. Valenti. In for a strike. It's 0 and 1. The pitch. Next pitch is in the dirt. Kicks and deals. And down on strikes. So he's gotten deep into this game, and at least so far, not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. There's a strike. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. And that is strike two. Ball one, one there. Ball. The wide to kick the pitch. That ball misses two. the zone. It's two and two. two and the two two. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. So he's perfect through six. On to the bottom of inning number six. The Bay Sox with the lead four to nothing.
back here at the ballpark. We go to the top of the seventh, digging in. Jonathan Davis. And here it comes. There's the strike. The pitch. And that's a strike. 0 oh, 2 now. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Well, they've had a approach, just oh, yeah. frustrating for him up there. You strike out a guy three times in a game, I think that guy's got to go back and. Number 29. And that's in there at the knees. You know, he's been so great today. Really just. Here comes a pitch. Swing and a pop up. Mazzara on his way in. Racing makes the catch. And there's two away. The bat Herrera will hit next. The there's over two with a pair of strikeouts. Hey. That's a strike. Two down, nobody on. Ball and downstairs. The pitch. Hey. And there's a strike. Tonight, his slider has been really impressive. I mean, tight spin. Seems like the hitters aren't. One and two now. Ball That's. That misses off the outside edge. Left hand hitter waits. Out towards right center field. Cameron under it. Makes the catch. And that is that. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the traditional seventh inning. We're at the top of the eighth, and here is Dylan Dingler. Not a single base runner through the first. The wind of the pitch. There's the strike up high. Strike one. Emerson still out there to pitch the eighth and working with a big lead. He's been excellent, really on his game in this one, and at this point. Next offering is in for a strike. Try the ball out of a hand of a guy like this because he's so competitive. Got him swinging. Oh, tough night at the dish. Punching out for the third time right there. He just hasn't looked very comfortable at the plate. A little unsure of his timing right now. Not picking up the spin and location. Holden stands in now and what? The pitch. Bounding ball here, rolls foul. Oh. Next offering misses, and that's the big lefty turns, kicks, deals. In the air to left center. Oh, 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 In there, base hit! And the bid for history is gone. Oh, and he was just five outs away from the no-hitter, Boog. Heck of a game he's had. An excellent performance, but now he's got to get right back to attacking the next kind of a fight in this one. In for a strike. Strike one. Now just about to hit that century mark. A hundred pitches for this game. Next pitch is out. Tip your cap. Swing and a miss. That is strike two. Knowing that the pitcher wants a ground... Got it by him for the K. No, they've had a great plan of attack for him tonight. I mean, finding all the holes in his swing and his approach, just frustrating for him up there. You strike out a guy three times in a game, I think that guy's got to go. Number 72 in the box again, takes a strike. Well, this guy on the mound's done a lot better than we would have expected, and the hitters just don't seem to have the right. Yeah, the lefty with the 0-1. Yeah. That catches the corner. And at bat like this is almost over. Oh, and two now. One ball, two strikes. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. The one, two. Here's a high chopper. To first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. 
now batting third baseman John Valenti. Here comes a skipper out of the dugout, and he's ready to make the move. Ty Emerson will depart. Only two hits allowed for him, so a great effort. And we'll be back after a quick break to tell you about the new arm. A new arm into the game, the righty, Andrew Polito. And he's got a nice lead to work with, so he should come in throwing strikes, attacking these hitters. When you win by seven runs, it's a real encouraging game all the way around. The hitters feel good about what they did in this one, but the pitchers also know that if they get into a little bit of a jam, they know the offense is very capable of putting up runs. Good job. This one ends 7-0 for Chris Singleton.